The Eleventh Amendment, Amendment 11 to the United States Constitution, which was passed by Congress on March 4, 1794, and ratified by the states on February 7, 1795, deals with each state's sovereign immunity and was adopted to overrule the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in Chisholm v. Georgia, 2 U.S. 419 1793. Text The judicial power of the United States shall not be construed to extend to any suit in law or equity, commenced or prosecuted against one of the United States by citizens of another state, or by citizens or subjects of any foreign state. <laughs> <laughs> Background The Eleventh Amendment was the first constitutional amendment adopted after the Bill of Rights. The amendment was adopted following the Supreme Court's ruling in Chisholm v. Georgia, 2 U.S. 419-1793. In Chisholm, the court ruled that federal courts had the authority to hear cases in law and equity brought by private citizens against states and that states did not enjoy sovereign immunity from suits made by citizens of other states in federal court. Thus, the amendment clarified Article 3, Section 2 of the Constitution, which gives diversity jurisdiction to the judiciary to hear cases between a state and citizens of another state. Proposal and ratification The Eleventh Amendment was proposed by the Third Congress on March 4, 1794, when it was approved by the House of Representatives by vote of 81-9, having been previously passed by the Senate, 23-2, on January 14, 1794. The amendment was ratified by the state legislatures of the following states New York, March 27, 1794 Rhode Island, March 31, 1794 Connecticut, May 8, 1794 New Hampshire, June 16, 1794 Massachusetts, June 26, 1794 Vermont, November 9, 1794 Virginia, November 18, 1794 Georgia, November 29, 1794 Kentucky, December 7, 1794 Maryland, December 26, 1794 Delaware, January 23, 1795 North Carolina, February 7, 1795 As there were 15 states at the time, the ratification by 12 states added the 11th Amendment to the Constitution. It was subsequently ratified by South Carolina, December 4, 1797 On January 8, 1798, approximately three years after the Eleventh Amendment's adoption, President John Adams stated in a message to Congress that the Eleventh Amendment had been ratified by the necessary number of states and that it was now a part of the Constitution of the United States. New Jersey and Pennsylvania did not take action on the amendment during that era, neither did Tennessee, which had become a state on June 16, 1796. However, on June 25, 2018, the New Jersey Senate adopted Senate Concurrent Resolution No. 75 to symbolically post-ratify the 11th Amendment. The resolution is currently pending in a committee of the legislature's lower chamber, the New Jersey General Assembly. Topic Impact Topic Retroactivity In Hollingsworth v. Virginia, 3 U.S. 378, 1798, the Supreme Court held that every pending action brought under Chisholm had to be dismissed because of the amendment's adoption. Sovereign immunity The amendment's text does not mention suits brought against a state by its own citizens. However, in Hans v. Louisiana, 134 U.S. 1 1890, the Supreme Court ruled that the amendment reflects a broader principle of sovereign immunity. As Justice Anthony Kennedy later stated in Alden v. Maine, 527 U.S. 706 1999, S over an immunity derives not from the Eleventh Amendment but from the structure of the original Constitution itself.
nor can we conclude that the specific Article I powers delegated to Congress necessarily include, by virtue of the necessary and proper clause or otherwise, the incidental authority to subject the states to private suits as a means of achieving objectives otherwise within the scope of the enumerated powers. However, Justice David Souter, writing for a four-justice dissent in Alden, said the states surrendered their sovereign immunity when they ratified the Constitution. He read the amendment's text as reflecting a narrow form of sovereign immunity that limited only the diversity jurisdiction of the federal courts. He concluded that neither the Eleventh Amendment in particular nor the Constitution in general insulates the states from suits by individuals. Eleventh Amendment immunity also protects states from lawsuits by foreign states in federal courts. Topic: <laughs> Application to federal law. Although the Eleventh Amendment grants immunity to states from suit for money damages or equitable relief without their consent, in Ex Parte Young, 209 U.S. 123 1908, the Supreme Court ruled that federal courts may enjoin state officials from violating federal law. In Fitzpatrick v. Bitzer, 427 U.S. 445 1976, the Supreme Court ruled that Congress may abrogate state immunity from suit under Section 5 of the Fourteenth Amendment. In Central Virginia Community College v. Katz, 546 U.S. 356 2006, the court ruled the Congress could do the same regarding bankruptcy cases by way of Article 1, Section 8, Clause 4 of the Constitution. In Lepides v. Board of Regents of UNIV. System of GA, 535 U.S. 613 2002, the Supreme Court ruled that when a state invokes a federal court's removal jurisdiction, it waives the Eleventh Amendment in the removed case. Topic. Territorial application The United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit has ruled that Puerto Rico enjoys Eleventh Amendment immunity. The territories of American Samoa, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands and the Virgin Islands do not enjoy Eleventh Amendment immunity. 